Hi, have you ever wanted to be followed by a cube? Well, thanks to the wonders of modern science, now you can. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Anyway, we're back in the tutorial area. And as you can see, now we have a second area. It's just some text in a cube. So if we walk into the tutorial area, past the previous tutorial and into number two, we get to the cube. And as you can see, if we hold E, jump scare warning, You may notice that I have it so that you can only have the cube follow you if you're in the bounds of this tutorial. This is just so that the cube doesn't start following you if you press E accidentally. Anyway, let's have a look under the hood, shall we? So all we have to make this work is the on-key down scripts from the last tutorial and today's script, the offset drag script here. So let's delete that temporarily and set it up from the start. To get the script is very easy, all you have to do is... Did you get that? Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, now that you have the script, drag it onto the cube, and you'll see four main parts. The target, and different speeds for X, Y, and Z. The target is the thing that it's going to follow, and the different speeds say how fast it's going to move on each axis. Here's the code, by the way. For the target, we want it to go towards the player, so let's drag the player into here. And that is pretty much all you have to do already. So if I press play, it's pretty hard to see, but there's a cube right here, following us. Make sure that the cube is set at the trigger, by the way, so you don't just get pushed around by it. Anyway, the whole premise of this script is that it will follow a game object, but drag behind it. Now, the significance of having a speed for all three axes is, is that if you set the speed of one of them to zero, then it just won't move on that axis. This is great for if a monster is chasing you using this script, and you don't want it to move up or down when you jump or crouch. Or you could have, like, someone blocking the way by only using the x-axis. There are many things in Psychic that I use this script for, for example the meat wall, I used it for waiting an amount of time before something happens. And also for the footstep system. That being that there's seven cubes constantly following the player, but they're off. As soon as the player starts touching the stone ground trigger, then the stone cube turns on. The stone cube has the offset drag script, so that when I move, it drags behind by a small amount. It also has an event zone script, so that as soon as the cube leaves my body, it plays a looping running sound effect. The two scripts combined make it so that when I move, the cube leaves my body, but is still following me thanks to the offset drag script. And when it stops touching me, it plays a footstep sound effect. So basically when I move, it plays a sound effect. Like footsteps. Ah, hi. It seems that last time we were in this situation, I got cut off from saying something, for an unexplained reason. Well, I thought maybe I could just say it again now. <coughs> if you like this video, then by all means subscribe.